Can you please stand up? Uh, raise up your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth and nothing else but the truth so help you God? Yes, I do. Put your hand down. Thank you. Do you understand what an oath is? Yes, I do. What is an oath? An oath is a promise to tell the truth. Great. Have a seat. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to begin with your interview. What do you use as an ID? I use a driver's license as an ID. You use your driver's license? Yes, I do. Did you bring your driver's license today? Yes. May I see your driver's license, please? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. So, did you bring a lawyer? Yes, I did. Why did you bring a lawyer today? I brought a lawyer because I wanted to do the things the right way with an experienced attorney. All right, great, great, excellent. So let me ask you this question. Why are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? I'm eligible to become a U.S. citizen because I'm 42 years old. I have been a legal permanent resident for more than six years, and I'm a person with good moral character. You're a person with good moral characters. What do you mean by good moral characters? Can you please explain? For example, I haven't committed any crime, and I also uh, pay my taxes on time every year. When was the last time you filed your taxes? I'm about to file my taxes in this coming week. I'm waiting for my W-2. Okay, but when was the last time you filed your taxes? The last time I filed my taxes was last year on February of 2021. Do you know how you filed your taxes? Yes, I do. How did you file taxes? I filed my taxes as a single. Single person? Yes. Why did you file taxes single? Because I'm not married anymore. What do you mean you're not married anymore? I am divorced. Okay, you are divorced. Why did you get divorced? We got divorced because uh, we have problems in our marriage. She didn't want to have children and I wanted to have a family. Okay, she didn't want to have any children? Yes. Okay. When did you get divorced? We got divorced on April 30 of 2018. Okay. Who decided to get divorced? We decided. Both of us. Both of you decided to get to get, uh, to get divorced. Okay, great. So going back to the tax uh, question, have you ever failed to file taxes? No, I have not. Do you know what taxes are? Yes. What are taxes? Taxes is the money that you pay to the government. Okay. Great. Excellent. Let me ask you another question. Uh, since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever traveled to a foreign country? Yes, I have traveled. So where did you go? I have traveled to Peru and to Mexico. Well, okay, and where was your first trip? My first trip was to Peru. Okay, and why did you go there? I went to visit relatives and friends. Relatives and friends? Yes. All right. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. How many siblings do you have? I have two sisters. Where do they live? They live with me in the same house. Are they American citizens? Yes, they are. Okay, great. Are you an American citizen? No. I'm, I'm about, I hope so. So are you an American citizen? No, I'm not. You're not an American citizen. Okay. So when did you become an American citizen? I have become an American citizen. I'm still a permanent resident. Okay, good. So do you understand my question? When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on September 3rd of 2014. Okay, and how did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident because my ex-wife petitioned for me. Good. Is your spouse an American citizen? Yes, she is. Your spouse is an American citizen? My ex-spouse is an American citizen. Oh, your ex-spouse? Yes. Because you're not married anymore? No. Okay, good. And how did she become an American citizen? She became an American citizen because she got naturalized. Okay. Do you know when? Yes. She became an American citizen 
on September 28th of 2010. Okay, okay. Now let me ask you this question. Why do you want to become an American citizen? I would like to become an American citizen because I fully support the form of government of the United States and I would like to be able to vote in the future. You would like to vote. Do you understand what vote is? Yes. Can you please tell me what the to vote is? To vote is to choose a leader between two candidates. Okay. Have you ever voted? No, never. Why not? Because only citizens can vote. Okay. Good. So have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, I haven't. What does claim mean? Claim is to say orally or in written, say that you are an American citizen. All right. So you have never claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No, never. Okay. Can I please... Can I please ask you the following question? Why? Why did you get divorced? We got divorced because my ex-wife didn't want to have children. And that was a big issue of our arguments. And we decided it was better for us to separate and get divorced. That was the reason. Okay. And uh, how old are you? I'm 42 years old. How old is your spouse? I'm divorced, but my ex-spouse by this time, she's 38 years old. Okay. Okay. Good. So where did you guys meet the first time? For the very first time? Where did you meet for the very first time? We met in the same New Jersey, and it was in the party that we have in, this, in the building where we used to live. Okay. All right. Where did you go on your first date? On our first date, we went to eat, to a permanent restaurant. Okay. Since becoming a permanent resident, have you ever been out of the country for more than six months? No, I haven't. You haven't? No. Okay. When was the last time you traveled outside the U.S.? The last time I traveled was on April 8 of 2019. Okay. Where did you go? I went to Mexico. Mexico, okay. And when did you leave, you said? April 8th of 2019. Okay, what was the reason for your trip? It was uh, health issues. I took a, a family member to get a, a treatment. Okay, and how long were you there, you said? We were there for 15 days. 15 days? Yes. That was your last trip? That was my last trip. Okay. So you said you have never been out of the country for more than six months? Okay. Have you ever been deported? No, never. Never been deported? No, officer. What is deportation? Deportation is a proceeding where they force you and they send you back to your original country. Okay, great. Have you ever been arrested? No, never. What is to arrest? Uh, when you are handcuffed by the police and, take, and they take you to the police station. Okay. Okay, great. So have you ever broken the law? No, never. Never? Okay. Have you ever gambled? Yes. You have gambled? I have gambled legally. Legally? Yes. Have you ever gambled illegally? Never. Never? No. Okay, so what is, what is gambling? Gambling means to play a game for money. Okay. Good. Have you ever smuggled something illegally into the United States? No, never. What is smuggle? The smuggle means to move goods to one place to one, from, from one place to another, such illegally goods, such like drugs. Okay. Have you ever been a member of any communist party? No, never. Do you understand what communism is? Yes, I do. What's communism? Communism is a political system in which the government owns all property, they have control of everything, and the people have no freedom. Okay. Do you have any title of nobility in a foreign country? No, I haven't. What is a hereditary title? A hereditary title is a title that you receive because you are born into a royal family, such like a prince, or a king. Okay. 
So you don't have any of those titles? No, I don't. Okay. Have you ever killed anyone? No, never. What is to kill? To kill means to take someone's life away. Okay. Did you bring a weapon today? No, I have never carried a weapon in my life. Okay, so you didn't bring a weapon today? No. What is a weapon? A weapon is an object that you can use to hurt somebody or to kill somebody, such like a gun or, or a knife, right? Okay, great. Have you ever been placed in a mental institution? No, never. Do you understand what a mental institution is? Yes, I do. What is a mental institution? A mental institution is a place where they treat people with mental illness. Okay, so have you ever had any mental illness? No, never. Never? No. Everything works fine? Hopefully. Okay, great. Excellent. So, why did the colonists fight the British? They fought the British because of high taxes. Okay, of high taxes? Okay. Okay, what is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. Do you know the name of the vice president now? Yes. What's the name of the vice president? Her name is Kamala Harris. Okay. We elect a U.S. senator for how long? For six years. Six years, okay. We elect a U.S. president for how long? For four years. Okay. Okay, great. If the president and vice president die, who becomes president? The speaker of the house. What's the name of the Speaker of the House? Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Very good. What is an amendment? An amendment is a change to the Constitution. What does the Constitution do? The Constitution sets up the government. Okay. And what is one power of the federal government? To print money. So, do you print money? No. Can you print money? No. Why not? Because the government is the one in charge to print the money. Okay. Okay. Great. Great. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Yes. What is to bear arms? To bear arms means to fight against the enemy case of war using a weapon. So you're willing to support the government? Yes, definitely. Okay. So do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. What does the Constitution do? The Constitution sets up the government. Okay. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I do. What does non-combatant mean? Non-combatant means to perform services for the government, such like working in logistics, or maybe uh, cooking, or maybe being a nurse, without using a weapon. Great. I would like you to check the information here and make sure everything is correct. And tell me if you need any corrections. Make sure your information is correct, and let me know. Yes. All the info is correct. All right, sign at the bottom, please. Can you have? Can I have that back? Pass me the pen. This is your ID. Thank you. Congratulations, you passed the test. Thank you. Good luck, and just wait outside for a few minutes. Thank okay. You. Have a good day. All right, you too. Have a good day.